Welcome to the I for Energy Becky Energy Research Symposium. My name is Therese Peffer. I'm the director of the Enabling Technology Program at the California Institute for Energy and Environment, CIEE, as well as associate director of I for Energy. Now, I for Energy, the four I's stand for, uh, I always have to look, intelligent, integrated, in innovative, and interactive. The idea is, is IT for energy, information technology for energy. And this is a collaboration, a partnership between Citrus, the Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, and CIEE. And Becky is the Berkeley Energy and Climate Institute. And the idea, Becky is a Berkeley-wide organization which includes not only campus but um, Lawrence Berkeley National Lab. Uh, I for Energy, the mission is really to foster multidisciplinary research, so across campus, uh, at the sensor level, data level, and application level. And uh, the Berkeley Energy, or Becky, is the mission of Becky is really to mobilize the resources here down on campus as well as at the lab to address the challenges posed by this challenge of uh, climate and energy, that nexus. Today's program focuses on research sponsored by the California Energy Commission, especially the research conducted under the Commission's en Enabling Technology Development Program. Um, and all of this work supports both the mission of I for Energy and Becky, and we thank the Commission for their support. I, we have a full agenda today. Uh, we'll start, I'll have a very brief introduction, a little bit of the history of ETD, and we have an introduction both by uh, Professor Paul Wright and Professor David Culler. Uh, we have a couple of, we're going to highlight a couple of research projects. We're not showing you everything today, but we'd like to at least cover a few things. We'll focus then on the Enabling Technology Development Project, provide some updates there. Uh, lunch is actually on your own. Um, there's plenty of food across the, the street on campus and then down on, up on Euclid. Uh, there'll be a poster session right out here in the atrium at that time. And in the afternoon, we'll uh, showcase research from across campus, both at the Energy Resource, Resources Group across campus and CBE, the Center for Built Environment. Uh, there'll also be talks from people down the hill at LBNL, uh, Sasha von Meyer and, and Lloyd uh, Sabulka, uh, as well as research from up on the hill, um, Lawrence Berkeley National Lab, two speakers there. And from across uh, campus here, Andrew Kriakoff from the Software Defined Buildings Group. So with that, I'm going to just provide a very brief uh, introduction. I want to especially thank... Or, Thank in absentia, uh, Gaiman Yi, who has really been, he was the previous director, and he really organized this symposium for the last 11 years. In fact, he, we pulled him out of retirement to organize this one. And he is not here today. He is actually, I believe, in Morocco. So this is a picture of him in uh, Lisbon just a few days ago. The project was started off as the Demand Response Enabling Technology Development Program from 2002 to 2007, and then switched gears and dropped the DR part uh, and, and focused more on just technologies as a whole. The idea was to develop disruptive enabling technologies, whether wireless or MEM sensors, networks, uh, energy scavenging and storage, and you'll hear some of those today. We've elicited uh, six research opportunity notices uh, as well as, um, and I'll just show you some highlights here. Uh, one project, the communicating, programmable communicating thermostat reference design, resulted in an actual product, a sub $100 PCT that was on the market just a few years later. Also, the printable battery research, Christine Ho's work, uh, she ended up starting a company and is now, um, I think, over in Alameda in print technology. You'll see, you can see a lot of the different documents that have been developed over the last 11 years on the CIEE website. We have a repository there. And there have been many, many um, institutions over the last 11 years, so both private companies as well as, as universities across California. 